Hello, I'm back once again in the land of the Mario theme park build thingy and uh, just admiring my lotus plant, lotus volcano, whatever. Uh, yeah, today we're working on this. It's our guardian farm and I'm sure you guys probably could have guessed it from the little glimpses you could have gotten from uh, the other builds and show um showing around what's going on but yeah it's the guardian farm but before we get into that i just want to say minecon 2018 just happened and i am super excited for everything that's coming to minecraft uh i personally really really like the scaffolding idea and the um the different textures for all the different uh villagers it's just I, I all of it i loved all of it so got that out of the way and yeah so we're gonna be hopping into this build and before we start the actual build i was just gonna explain some stuff to you uh so this is built all around what used to be a guardian farm or guardian well a temple and we took that completely out so there's nothing in there except water all the way down to the ground level and then at the very bottom uh, it's all netherrack I mean this thing is 64 by 64 netherrack it's 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 huge um, and then in the middle there you can see there's this tube that goes all the way to the top so the idea is that the guardians spawn and then they get flung up to the top through the gates oops getting stuck on the get glass uh, through the, all these gates, which 64 by 64 gates, I put them in there. Wow, that was that was a bit. Um, and then uh, the water flows down, pushing them into the middle. And once they get into the middle, they fall down to an area right down in there. And there's either AFK auto killing, or there's. Uh, XP farm. So uh, I'm going to fly over and show you guys where the entrance to it is and a little bit of the uh, the minecart track to get there. So I'll be right back. Okay, so here is the pipe leading into mine <laughs> Minecraft Mario Park and out the back side of it, right down here is the way to get to the farm and it's kind of cool it looks really nice but it takes a while so uh let's speed things up shall we okay here we are at the farm and uh so here's, here's, here's a, the kill zone, and if you hit this, it swaps that out for soul sand, so now they just fall down and take damage, and they're not supposed to die. Most of them don't, uh, but you wait here until they get filled up, and then, let me turn that back to auto. Uh, when you turn it to auto, it releases some lava back there, so they bounce around and burn up, which has the secondary uh, purpose of cooking the fish that they drop. So, when you're trying to get XP, you just uh, get one of these out, go up there, wait, and then throw it in and it kills them. And this thing is really cool. My nephew designed this. Oops, I am one off. There we go. Um, he figured it all out. It's, it's for putting in all the different stuff that you need to brew those potions splash potions of harming so you just hit the lever and it just starts cranking them out it's pretty cool so this is also the storage and we got a sorting system back there prismarine shards prismarine crystals cooked god and then extra stuff and uh throws away once it gets full it throws it all away and uh but, you, know, you can never have too many prismarine crystals because they make the lamps and the lamps are awesome so yeah, that's uh, that's the farm. So now let's move on to the build. 
Okay, so we're in the testing world now, and I'm going to show you on screen what it is we're going to be building. It is the urchin, and, well, the image is 30 blocks, but we're going to make it 60, because it's just going to look a lot better if it's about the same size as the top of the guardian farm. So, the middle of the urchin is basically what I'm going to call a circle. So, or a sphere. So we're going to start off with a sphere, and it is going to be 32 blocks. So I'm going to quick throw that together, and I'll be right back. All right, we've got the inner sphere done. And now it's time to start figuring out the spiny things. And I made the whole thing blue, but I think I'm going to have this stripe going all the way around. And then this whole middle area all the way around is going to be this middle color which is light blue terracotta then blue terracotta and then blue concrete uh, but I just wanted to get this and I didn't do the whole sphere because I didn't need to I just did half <laughs> but yeah let's uh, start adding some spines which that's the reason I chose the urchins because it's so similar to the guardians so yeah let's go throw some spines in and see what we can come up with and here it is the test build is finished so I added the eyes and the spikes <laughs> the first time I did the spikes I did them I don't know I had like these three done and these two I was just about to start working on this one I'm like oh, I have them way wrong for size so I had to go back in redesign them uh, much bigger I had them like half the size, it wasn't anywhere near what they should have been. Um, but it took a little work to get them all to the right. So it's like kind of like a sun beam thingy is coming out. Um, this one is just a weird angle, but I think it works. Might have to do some, a little bit of tweaking when we actually go to build it. But yeah, like I said, we're going to do that blue in the bottom, that blue, that blue, all the way through here. And then the same as you get to the top. But yeah, turned out pretty good. Um, around here, around the back, I'm not sure if I'm going to leave it blank or if I'm going to put another spike going out the back side. And I know I'm going to put one of these down there. And of course, you know that one will go there and down there and there. That one will go there, 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 and there. But yeah, I think I think that's pretty good. So now it's time to go into survival and start collecting resources, which. It's a lot, and, you know, blue concrete, and, oh, crud, that's terracotta. That's going to be a lot of terracotta. Concrete, and, oh, more terracotta. Oh, boy, that's going to be fun. Um, yeah, so I'm going to go collect resources, and I'll be back in a little bit. Okay, time for an update. I have completed the bottom section, the bottom spike and then all the way up so that we're on the second row of the light blue uh, terracotta which means I'm only like one two three four five six away from being halfway done with the sphere which is pretty cool but as soon as I start um, getting to where the spikes are going to come out the sides then I'm going to start uh, doing those spikes and yeah then we got the ones on top the ones on the bottom are the ones that are really like, oh, I don't really want to do those. Because <laughs> we got a scaffold and then walk around on the scaffolding and try and figure out where everything needs to go. But yeah, everything's going pretty good right now. Um, keep running out of materials. I'm going to need a lot more light blue and blue terracotta. And blue concrete. I'm like, yeah, I got like four stacks of blue concrete and I got to like half of this level right here. And I'm like, oh, Okay, so yeah, I'm going to keep plugging along and uh, update you in just a little bit. And I'm back once again with the update. And uh, yeah, it's coming along. I've got the uh, all the light blue terracotta in. I'm just starting on the blue. And pretty soon I'm going to start on these side angle spikes going up. And I went ahead and put in all the blue and light blue, right, uh, where's the front, uh, that's the front, here, 
And I'll probably end up just going over top of it with the white concrete for the eyes, but I don't know. Yeah, I might just take it out to be able to use it somewhere else. But yeah, um, it's going pretty quick. It's not not too bad. Uh, it takes time as I fly down and grab more resources. Just keep running low. Uh, this took a lot more. Like every one of these rows was a stack. So yeah, I wasn't planning on quite that much. So anyway, I will keep plodding along and update you guys in just a little bit. It's time for an update. And I think it's looking pretty stinking cool. Uh, yeah, so let's fly out here a little bit. Get some food into our hand. Uh, yeah, so all of these are in. So we just got the eyes left and the two down there. I don't think I'm going to do anything in the back because you're not going to see the back. Who really cares? Just leave that one sticking out the rear. <laughs> and we'll do just the two in the front and then the eyes. And it'll be done. Except for I should light it up because there's lots of areas in here that can just spawn tons of mobs. So, yeah, I'm going to get to it. And next update, I might be done. Maybe not. All right, I am back, and it's done. Yes, finally, it's done. And uh, drink a potion of slow falling so I can get this nice dramatic entrance into it. Yeah, the um, Mario Urchin is done. The perfect cap to the Guardian farm. So, point of advice, whenever you guys are building anything this big or bigger in fact if you're building anything try to get all the resources at the very beginning it makes things so much quicker when you're actually building because <clears throat> i ran out of orange uh terracotta and had to go all the way back to the mesa and that's like that's not too bad because it's only like 1700 blocks in the nether but it's still a pain to go do that right in the middle of your build stopping and starting but yeah, it came out great, um, and it's all done. So that's great. I'm just excited. Not sure what I'm going to be working on next, but uh, hopefully like a fun build. I'm really considering a flying Mario. But uh, yeah, yeah, I think it looks really cool. So anyway, I uh, hope you guys liked it. If you did like it, please give the video a thumbs up, and if you like what you're seeing. Go ahead and uh, sign up for, sorry, I had a hair on my keyboard, uh, sign up for, uh, subscribe, sorry, that's the word, subscribe, um, turn on notifications, and uh, tell your friends and family about the Mario Land in Minecraft. Until next time.